Good morning, you guys. So today we're going to work on the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary Crafts. So you're going to need some supplies. So make sure you pull this one out of your folder. You're also going to need some markers, crayons, or color pencils. Any of these will work. You're also going to need scissors, glue stick, and if you have a blue construction paper, it will be light blue, dark blue, but just in case if you don't, computer paper will also work. If we're going to use computer paper, you're going to need two sheets. If you have blue construction paper, you're still going to need one sheet of white copy paper. So go ahead and gather your supplies and let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to color our angels in our Mary, our Virgin Mary. So I'm going to use my markers to outline and then I'm going to color it in. Remember the assumption of Mary is known to her symbolism of color is blue so let's color her mantle blue. Be neat as possible so when we come back in our class these could be hung up in our religion bulletin board. Take your time, put some nice music on, and have fun with it. So now that we have everything colored, we're going to cut. Make sure you cut along the lines. Be very careful. You don't want to rip anything or overcut. Be careful.
so now we have our Virgin Mary and our two angels. So the next thing you're going to want to do is, if you have a blue construction paper, go ahead and bring that out. And if you don't, make sure you have a white copy paper. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to grab your blue color pencil or a blue crayon. And you're going to color the sky in. So go ahead and do like a square. You may leave a border, but make sure you're nice and neat. And you're going to color the sky in if you do not have blue construction paper. So go ahead and color your sky. Next step. You're going to need two, make sure you're going to need two blue construction papers and three of the white copy papers. Okay, so I finished coloring and cutting my Blessed Virgin Mary and my two angels. And the next thing you need is you're going to need your construction paper and your copy paper. So let's move these to the side. Make sure that if you do have construction paper, you have two blue ones. It could be a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, as long as they're blue because they're going to be our sky. And if you do not have construction paper, you must, you're going to need three of the white copy paper. One's going to be your clouds. Even if you do have construction paper, you're going to need one white copy paper. One's going to be your sky, and then one's going to be our handle. So I'll go through it. So make sure you bring your papers. If you do not have blue construction paper, what we're going to do is we're going to color in our own sky. So you're going to need either a blue color pencil, or a blue crayon. Either way works. And we're going to color in our sky. Make sure you're neat as possible. Go ahead and color that whole sheet in. Make it even as possible. So go ahead and color that. Make sure your sky is completely colored in. And next, this is what we're going to do. You're going to grab your sheet, and you're just going to position them, not, no glue yet. So, because remember, this is the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So she's going to ascend into heaven. Right, that looks like a good spot. And the next thing, if you have some tissue or some tissue paper or even some cotton balls, you're going to make the clouds for the angel and for Mary. I do, fortunately do not have those things, but I do have my white copy paper, so I'm going to cut some cloud shapes out of here. So let's, let's do some clouds. You could draw them beforehand, or you could do some little freestyle with the scissors. Make sure the clouds are fluffy and long enough. So here's one cloud. Let's see if my angel, how does it fit? Yep, it fits perfectly. So now we're gonna need two more clouds.
go ahead if you need more space go ahead and move the angels a little bit further down and we're gonna get our clouds for Mary we're not using any glue yet you guys we're just gonna position them and see how they look everything looks good okay next I'm gonna take out your glue stick Go ahead and grab Virgin Mary. And this is important. You're only gonna put glue on the bottom where her feet are. Just put glue there. And then you're gonna grab her cloud and position her on top of the cloud. So make sure where you put glue, that's the part that's sticking to the cloud. So now she's on top of the cloud. And we're going to do the same thing with the angels. They're just going to put glue for now where the legs are, where they're kneeling. Because that's the part we want it to stick to the cloud. So go ahead. Here we go. Our first angel's glued to the cloud. And we grab our second angel. And just the same thing. Just going to put glue where they're kneeling on your legs. And then place it on the cloud. Okay. So now we have our two angels and Mary on the cloud. Go ahead and put them on the side. Actually, we have our two angels and Mary on the cloud. Go ahead and move Mary a little bit down. We're close to the angels. And then you're going to grab your pencil. And you see where Mary is, go straight above. And we're just gonna mark a straight line right there. If we need to get a ruler, go ahead, go get a ruler. Or you could use something that has a straight edge, improvise. I'm gonna use my phone to make a straight line right there. Go ahead and make it lighter than that. And that's gonna be our marker as to where to cut. So we're going to make one line on top and then going to give a little space to the bottom and make another line. And that's going to help us to guide us on how to cut. So go ahead and put your angels and your mirror on the side. And then we're going to grab our paper, pay extra attention to this. We're going to fold it gently. Don't make a huge crease on it, but you are going to fold it and you're going to cut. You're going to try to make a little cut on the line. So go ahead and fold a little paper, fold your paper a bit. So we can do that cut. See how I am pinching my scissors in so I can get that cut. And then you're just going to cut straight. It's okay if you do a little extra like nub on the paper, but just go ahead and cut straight. We just don't cut all the way, we just want to cut on the line that we drew. And then you're going to do it again for the top line. So be extra careful that we don't rip it. Let's see if I could do my line. Pinch it. You just want to get the scissors through. We just want to get our scissors through. Here we go. And then just cut. Make sure you fold your paper down. And what we want to check for is that if I could slide in through. See how I could slide this pencil in through? This is what we want. We want to be able to slide in our pencil so we can slide in our little sweeper. So now that we have that, you're going to grab your other piece of blue paper. 
and you're going to fold this one in half. Make sure it's nice straight to the line. Go ahead and mark the crease down. And then you're going to grab it again, unfold it, and then fold it down where you see the crease. Go ahead and press down on it. You want to make sure you see the folding line. And you're going to open it again, and then you're going to do another fold into the crease line. Go ahead. Fold it again. Make sure this crease line is visible and nice and hard and the paper is flat as possible. If you need to, go ahead and pass something heavy on it down so the crease line be visible and even unfolded it and folded it in this way because we want this crease line to be very visible to us okay now that we have it let's make it more you're gonna grab your scissors and you're gonna go down this line because we want a strip of that blue paper Try to go as straight as you can. There we go, now we have our blue strip of paper. And now you're gonna bring back your other paper. And what you wanna do is you wanna slide in this strip right into that pocket. So you wanna make sure you put a your rear pull in and out. If you do have tissue paper or cotton balls, you may substitute these white clouds with cotton balls. Put cotton balls. Go ahead and put your cotton balls on top of this white cloud cutout that we did, or you can scrunch up tissue or scrunch up Kleenex, scrunch up tissue paper. That will work well and glue it on top of your cloud. So now that we have our little pulley in, we're gonna grab your Blessed Virgin Mary. And then you're gonna put glue alongside her body. Go one, two layers, excuse me, two layers of glue. And then where you see the cloud, because you wanna make sure it get, gets to the cloud, you're gonna put it, glue her on that pulley. And press down. And then do a little test try. See if it works. Let's move her down a little bit further so she could go further higher. Here we go. Okay. So go ahead and pull her down. And then grab your angels and put them a little higher because they're not on earth level yet. So go ahead and put her a little higher. Put the angels a little higher. So this looks good. Let's glue our angels. Make sure you're putting glue on all over the angel now. So on the cloud, on the wings. And then we're gonna grab it. See, this is a good spot. Go ahead and press it down. Let's grab our other angel. Put 
put it right across your first angel. If you pop out the page a little bit, it's okay. Just a little bit though. Impress it down. Now, we're almost done. So, now we're gonna draw the grass right here. Because remember, she was here on Earth, so we're gonna draw the grass that represents that she was here with us. So go ahead and go to your color pencils. Grab your greens. I'm gonna grab all my three shades of greens. And we're gonna do a little grass right here. She's here on earth, and now we're gonna. Now she's gonna assume to heaven and be with the angel and Jesus and God. So, this is how our final project should look like our final craft. Next, your assignment is gonna be posted. I want you to record your final product and explain to me what is the assumption of Mary as she assumes into heaven. Can't wait to see your crafts. Bye, guys.